What's up? This is Atark here from smartbyturns.com. Excerpt softly released synchronized group workouts with video, chat, and multi-user data views. And I have been using it for the past couple of weeks. So let's talk about Excerpt group sessions. If you're not familiar with Excerpt, it is a smart training platform that helps athletes coach themselves. It does this by doing a deep dive analysis into your data to measure your fitness and discover certain patterns that are unique to you and use all this information and present you with certain recommendations based on your current fitness and goals. Exert tracks changes in your fitness without requiring you to test. Just upload your data and Exert runs some algorithm and tells you when you're improving and by how much and calculate your FTP for you automatically without having you go through an FTP test. Their smart training recommendation engine determines how the amount and type of training you need to do at any given day. Excerpt will recommend workouts for you to do and guide you through the workout and their workout player will monitor your fitness in real time and adjust the intensity and duration of your workout down to each interval. And before we go any deeper into this, if you find this video interesting or helpful in any way, please take a quick second to hit the like button to help support what I do here and uh, also subscribe so you do not miss any videos from me. Uh, also, Exert were kind enough to give a number of free trials, so make sure to stick around to the end and I'll tell you how you can win one. When you log into your account, you can find Exert sessions under training. Here you can browse through the upcoming group sessions. Under each session, you will find details about the sessions such as duration, workout focus, Exert strain score, which quantifies how much strain an athlete endures during a workout and what features available in the sessions such as chat, YouTube video, or Zoom, and if there's a Spotify music list. Also, the session start time. And finally, training program suitability, basically telling you if this proposed session fits into your training program. Good means the session will fit nicely into your current program in terms of XSS and training focus. Uh, there are all kinds of sessions available. There's even a set of Exert Academy sessions available for those wanting to learn more about how Exert works while getting their workout done. You can also create your own session and select the workout you want to do. Just click on the new session button on the top right, add workout details, and their session type, you will see two options, solo or group. For group sessions, you need to be part of a community and then share the session with the member of that community. If you are the owner of the community, you can choose to make the session public so that anyone on Exerts can join or just keep it private. The community options enable athletes and coaches to ride with only those they want to ride with. Uh, and for coaches, it allows them to create group training sessions for their athletes uh, like in a studio environment. Under media, this is where you can add a YouTube link and your own Spotify playlist. If you are doing a group session, you have the option to add a Zoom link too. So when your session is less than two hours away for those super early birds arrival, you will be able to open the Exer player. In my case, usually I join a minute or two late. The Exer player is a web-based app, so you need a web browser to get it to work. You also need the Exert mobile player, which is available for iOS and Android. This is needed to pair your smart trainer and other sensors you might have. Uh, on the iOS app, you will see that you have a session available and you can start the session there as well. If you would like to warm up a little bit before the session start, you can just tap on the session and select the start button to begin an early warm up. You want to do the warm up in slope or resistance mode. When the session begins, the Exert player will switch back into auto or erg mode and start the workout for you automatically. The session player has five main elements, the MPA and power gauge, uh, indicates power output, interval targets, intensities and duration, etc., as well as your cadence and heart rate data. Then the video overlay, if the session creator has selected a YouTube video or to be displayed. However, you can decide to resize it or even overlay other window on top of it. So if you wanna put a Netflix video in there, you can do that. If there is a Zoom or a Spotify option, you can click on the arrow to go to the Spotify list or the Zoom uh, link. The video plays at its original speed, so it's not synchronized with your speed or power output. Then you have the leaderboard or riders nearby. Uh, this is a list of everyone doing the session with you. Tapping on the column icon on the top left allows you to filter by a wide variety of different metrics. The idea behind these sessions is not to race, so there is not a gap created or anything like that. 
everyone's speed will be calculated as they are riding in a group. Then you have a chat window on the lower left. And uh, finally, the workout chart, uh, you can click to enable this or disable any of the metrics being displayed along the bottom of the graph. When the workout begins, you'll automatically be set to zoomed mode, which display a 10 minute rolling window. Disabling zoomed mode will show the entire workout in a single frame. Also, if you happen to have an Android device, Exert has a few more interesting features when it comes to sessions that they do not have on iOS yet. For example, there is a hit to hit feature which allows you to pull up another rider's data and display that on the device. I do not have an Android, not an Android guy, so unfortunately I could not test it, but definitely something to look for if you do. So this is sessions. Unlike other apps that use FTP to set your intervals, Exert uses three fitness variables to do that. So for example, if you have two different riders with similar FTP value, one rider can have a higher peak power than the other rider. And this is very typical with road cyclists or short course uh, cyclists when compared to long course triathletes, for example. So when using FTP alone and an interval calls for uh, two minutes at 140% of FTP, the triathlete in this case is going to hurt a lot more than a sprint rider, for example. Uh, Exert uses mean maximal power instead, which is the highest power that could be sustained for a duration at a given moment. So in a group session, you know everyone is going to hurt the same. So we have seen more apps try to make indoor training more social, especially since the pandemic. Personally, I prefer solo training even when indoors because I can just do it on my own time and I can just focus on myself and not be distracted by others. However, working out with a group can be fun and encourage you to push yourself out of your comfort zone and work harder. It brings out natural competitiveness, accountability, and you just push yourself more than perhaps you would when working out alone particularly on days where you just don't have it and you feel low on energy. Exert is $10 per month or $100 per year. They also have a 30 day free trial available. So give them a try if you haven't done so already. Okay, as far as the giveaway, Exert were kind enough to offer a full year membership. So to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is comment below and just tell me if you are a solo type rider and prefer to train alone or working out in a group is your jam. And uh, remember to subscribe and I'll randomly pick three of you. Yes, three random individual will receive a code to get a full year membership to Exert. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is Exert Group Session. If you find this video helpful, please take a second to hit the like button. Also subscribe if you've made it this far in this video and have not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.